In February, high school students from Chicago came to Fermilab to practice particle physics research for a day. Our physics teacher offered us a chance to come to Fermilab. He offered it to our whole class and I've, I've enjoyed our class and I've been thinking maybe of pursuing a physics career later in my life. So I decided to come and see what they actually do and whatnot. The 35 students participated in the QuirkNet Masterclass, a national program sponsored by the Department of Energy and the National Science Foundation that introduces particle physics to students. The idea of the Masterclass is that students work with physicists much like young musicians work with their maestros. So that way when they walk away, not only do they learn about particle physics, but even more importantly, get an idea of what science is and how science works, or essentially to get them a little more scientifically literate. We're bringing a group of students in to basically analyze real particle physics data. And they'll start out with uh, some talks to get them uh, acclimated to particle physics. Uh, it's a somewhat different idea of atoms than we do now. They didn't have those cute little symbols. This column is called the first generation. And I'm a charged particle, nothing happens to me. But if I'm walking through the magnetic field, my path gets bent. No, it's not a mu, though. It has to have X. Okay. Students analyze particle collisions from the dismantled Large Electron Positron Collider at CERN. They will determine how many of each kind of decay they see and be able to compare those numbers to, to create uh, percentages, essentially. It's 289 and 48.2%. Number of free jet events is 171 and 28.5%. The day was designed to give students a taste of what physicists are like. At lunch, they talked with Fermilab physicists. I would definitely go after what you enjoy and what you know seems to fulfill you and what interests you as a career choice. I got my PhD. Fermilab offered me a job. I've been here ever since. So here I am, enjoying the quarks and the universe. I probably have a fast, you know, a lot of communication with maybe a dozen or so people. The idea was to give students an insight into how physicists think. Physicists really care about what they do and also uh, have a particular way of looking at the world that is of value. I've learned uh, like about how the atoms put together and how they find it by smashing the particles together and whatnot. And it like all the all the equipment they need to put together to do all this and all the scientists that contribute to this. The neutron thing that can, uh, can cure cancer, and I think that's really a good thing because. Um, for me, I know from experience, my mom had breast cancer, so, you know, she, you know, if she would have known about that, then that could have probably been a good thing, you know, so if it gets known around everywhere, then that'll, that'll help out in society. At the end of the day, students were asked to reflect on what they learned at Fermilab. One more. <laughs> Work it. For some students, their day at Fermilab inspired them to keep studying physics. There's so much stuff we have learned, but yet there's so much we don't, like a, a lot we don't know. And I just like to go and uh, know, like understand what this stuff is and try and explore further and just know kind of a little bit about what we're made of and what everything else in the universe is. This is Christine Crane reporting.